So f prime of x equals 3x to the negative second. Focusing in on the derivative function, if you take the antiderivative of the derivative function, we get the original function f of x back. So taking the antiderivative of this 3x to the negative second, we're adding 1 to the power, doing x to the negative first. We're taking the reciprocal of that power, which is still going to be negative 1, multiplying it to the 3 in front. As we take the antiderivative, we also appreciate that we have to tack on a constant. And if I were to clean this up just a, a little bit, because the negative exponent right there, I might bump that x down, make that an x to the first. We find that f of x so far equals negative 3 over x plus c. But when you have this additional information given, like f of 1 equals 0, that means we can actually figure out what the constant is. So now our goal becomes let's find c. If f of x equals negative 3 over x plus c, I substitute 1 in for x, I get 0 back. Then 0 would equal negative 3 over x, which is 1, plus c. So obviously this is negative 3. I'm going to add 3 over. 3 equals c. Kind of bringing this all together now, I would conclude that the original function f of x equals this negative 3 over x plus c, which I found to be 3. And that'd be my answer. All right, so we got a point on the curve. We know the tangent line has a slope that's represented by the expression 2x minus 3. We got to find the equation of the curve. Essentially the same kind of problem as number 9. Um, as far as key information is concerned here, the tangent line has a slope of 2x minus 3. So the slope would equal 2x minus 3. And as we know, for slopes of tangent lines, the slope is always connected to the first derivative. So f prime of x must equal 2x minus 3. We're trying to find the equation of the curve. That means we're trying to find the function. So to find f of x, we take the antiderivative of the derivative function here. So working through term by term, you've got x to the first here, add 1, got x to the second. Reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. 1 half gets multiplied by the 2 in front. That would just be 1. So x squared is your antiderivative for that term. Got your constant of minus 3. So that's where we attach an x. And then we've taken the antiderivative. So we tack on c. Taking the additional information provided here, we do have a point on the curve. So we know that x is 3, and we know f of x could be 2 when x is 3. If I plug that information in, I can solve for c, so 2 would equal be 3 squared minus 3 times 3 plus c. So all this right here is going to subtract out. 2 is going to equal c. Original goal is to find the equation of the curve. We've got most of it right here, but we also need this c value. So we can conclude that our function is going to equal x squared minus 3x plus c, which is 2.